fine, how are you? I'm fine too. Mm -hmm. You look good. Who is talking sitters? I'm not ready for sitters yet until you and Kennedy send me to Europe. What is that? Well, that's not a problem. We'll definitely send you. You have to come out from the university with good grades. You both should get ready in that case because I have less than a year to go. Oh, no problem. Well, <laughs> that is not a problem. Mm -hmm. Your brothers, they love you so much. You're the only sister and they are ready to make you happy. And am I right? You're damn right, baby. Okay, let me go and cook. I know Silvia is very busy. Yeah, uh, please. When you finish cooking, I would like to get a portion. You know, your food reminds me of a little more. Oh. For that, I'm going to get you the good pot if it makes you happy. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Daisy! 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 And you don't think it's a man thing? No. I'm actually enjoying it. Um, I'll be going to the supermarket very soon. Would you mind joining me? Oh, I would love to, but Kelly said he's taking me out later in the day. Maybe some other time. Oh, so it's sorry. okay. Coping with that uh, girl, Rose. That girl is something else. She relieved me of all the house chores. In fact, I don't even know. She doesn't get tired. Seriously. 
Are you sure she is not pretending? Call it pretend so. I serve you so. I don't mind. As long as it's affecting me positive. I don't mind at all. Me? I mind though. That is why she doesn't come to my house. Yes. Because she knows that I know all her mischiefs and pranks. Anyway, that's by the way. Hi, Daisy. I hope she has stopped anything. She's fine, you know. She even went to school today. That's good. I have a lot to buy for the next semester. I don't know how to start telling my brothers. Rose, you worry too much. They are your brothers and you are their responsibility. You should be able to tell these people whatever you need. I know. But times are really hard. <sighs> when are you going back to school? In two months. Okay, let's do it this way. I'll give you whatever I am able to save every weekend. Then you buy whatever you can with them. When you're ready to go back to school, your brothers will sort out the rest. Oh, thank you very much, my wife. You're welcome. <laughs> you're really a blessing to our family. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad my brother married you. I'll just kill you my daughter. <laughs> thank you. I'm really grateful. You're such a darling, and you know it. You're a sweetest darling. <laughs> Is uh, Rose going back to school already? Uh -huh. Ah, ah, ah. Carol go back to school without telling you and your husband. Oh, no. She only went back to the house. Oh, why didn't you join them? You know how close those two are now, so since Rose is around, I decided to allow them to use them. Oh, okay, I understand now. So you stay in the house and wait for them to come back. Oh, I do. I think they have something important to discuss. I will stay. Okay. Stay. I thought she was going back. That's why I came. And now, uh, now, I was going to have fun. That's all. It's good. <laughs> all right. See you later. Okay. Yeah. Rose, this list that took you almost two hours to write, I hope it's affordable. Uh-uh, brother. It was not the list I was writing, I was on a call actually, that's why I took time. Rose. 650,000 naira. For what? Brother, for everything in the list, including my school fees and house rent. Times are hard. I know, brother. But I also need to go to school. It's okay. Uh, don't worry, I will talk with Kennedy, okay? Let me see how much he can come up with and I'll make up the rest. Uh, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. See why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Michael. Yes, dear. Um, I need some money. For what? There is this uh, new Senegalese boutique that is around the corner. They have beautiful new clothes, so I need to buy some of them. 
Winifred, I have a lot of expenses to make now. We can talk about this later, okay? Mm -mm. That is not possible. I need the money. What are you talking about? We have dicey school fees to take care of, and out of rules too. Discussing clothes, I mean clothes should be the least thing we'll talk about in the house now. Michael, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a local government worker collecting salary from federal governments? No. Why did Rose stay at Kennedy's? Just all the house chores comes in here to ask of school fees and money for upkeep. When if you're working of a human being, are you? Those are my younger ones. And they look up to me. As a matter of fact, I'm not even supposed to share their responsibility with anybody. If you do not give me that money, hell will let us. Ah, Rose! Don't worry, my dear. Elizabeth will sweep her own portion. Portion? How do you mean portion? It's so now. She's the one that uh, divided the portion. She said uh, this part is for her family. And this part is mine. Why? When dad and mom were alive, they never allowed anything to be shown between the three of us. Oh, whoa. This compound is big enough to be divided into two, but dad never did that because he wants his family to be together in love. Bam. As the first wife in the family, I tried to talk to her to see reasons why it's not necessary. But she insisted, so I let her be. Let me talk to her myself. I don't want to come back one day to find this compound first. Divided my with my two brothers staying apart. It is not stay in one Our advice is to do it yourself. Because if you do, she virtually misunderstands everything. She'll be taking a while to help her own I understand, but I don't want anything to jeopardize the love my father and mother labored for years to build. Rose. Sylvia is my co-wife. Eh? I will sort it out. I believe I, I know exactly what to do and how to talk to her. Just giving her small space. Don't worry. Hmm? I will sort it out myself. I'm really counting on you to talk to her. I know, my dear. Thank you very Just much. Just sweep the portion as she divided it. Hmm? Don't worry. Thank you. It, it ends here. Elizabeth, don't worry. I'll sweep the entire... No, 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 don't worry. This is the portion here. Stop here, Elizabeth. Don't worry, Rose. We'll sweep this side so that it will be less for you. Hmm? Don't worry. Elizabeth, you know this is where it is. Don't worry.
I wonder how she thinks she's deceiving. Even if she deceives my brother, I definitely won't fall prey. Anyway, thank God I'm beginning to know more of her hidden characters and how to follow her. Oh, poor Kennedy. I'm sure you have not seen the reverse side of your wife, and I pray she doesn't unveil it to you someday. This is the, the huge sum of money that Rose is uh, demanding from her husband. Uh, fat. Yes, my husband told me, but it's just for her school fees. As if you didn't go to school. Which state university collects that kind of money for just school fees? My dear, she summed up all her school requirements before presenting that to her brothers. <laughs> hey, Sylvia. You and this your good heart. You stay inside the ocean, so enter your eyes. She's milking our husbands and giving all that money to her her boyfriend. No, that rose doesn't look to me like somebody that has a one one school boyfriend. All oh, her boyfriends in school. Well, how can that be possible? <laughs> Open your eyes. Have you not wondered why she does not like staying with me? Is because she knows that I know all those are evil plans and agenda. Hmm. It's okay. I'll look into it. Mm. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Welcome. Thank you. Let me quickly go inside. I want to prepare something. Okay. Just, I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna work hard and pay you back and much more, all right? All right? Well, at least you have My a good dad. attitude. Sheesh, I have to. I should always be that way. And who will you sell that to? To women, men, gentlemen, everyone. You have to give me that money now. What's money? I don't have any money. Please stop this joke. You see that money? You must give it to me now. Now! I have told you to calm down. Exercise some patience. Let me take care of my sister's school fees and sundry, then I can make other expenses. What sister? What sister are you talking about? Is it the one that came back and could not even do anything for you? Instead, she focused on Sylvia and Kennedy. Just don't tell me that. Give me that money now. My sister is my responsibility and no one can change that. Okay? Please, give me some peace. I don't want trouble now. Oh, Michael. So now, I am trouble. I am giving you trouble. You will see that for What is it? Um, Sylvia, can I get a five thousand naira from you? Okay. Came out the wrong time. I don't have any money now. In fact, since this Rosie school fees thing started, there is no money in this house. Oh God, what kind of thing is this? Anytime you mention money in this compound, all I hear is Rosie school fees, Rosie school fees. Me, I'm tired of hearing it all. Do you know this morning, my husband gave me just 2,000 naira to make breakfast. But I do understand. I know. Me, I cannot even make breakfast with 5,000 naira. Stop now. Rose! Uh, where are you going breakfast? I'm on my way to the market. Ken gave me some money to get some cosmetics and clothes. That's nice. And <laughs> um, how much are we talking about here? Just 40,000 naira. Hmm? Yeah, what can I do? I can only manage. <laughs> yes, that's very nice of him. Yeah, what can I go do? For your cosmetics and your clothes. Oh. Yeah, I'll manage it now. What can I go do? Hey, yeah, uh, chai. <laughs> okay, so let me run along. I'll see you guys later. All right. Okay, thank you. Go away, Lou. Thank you. Bye, Lou. Oh. She looks good. 
Just for her clothes and cosmetics. Mm -hmm. uh. You. When was the last time Kennedy gave you that amount to buy clothes and cosmetics? My dear, I don't need that kind of money. Kennedy buys everything from me. From my clothes to, to cosmetics. In fact, just that I don't make up. If not, you also get them from me. Huh? Mm -hmm. Did I hear you were Sylvia? Yes. Hi. No wonder. Chai. No wonder, Sylvia, since they married you into this family, I've not seen you wear any good clothes. Even your hair, you carry your hair four months, five months, six months. So it's Kennedy that buys your clothes. So Kennedy too takes you to the salon and pays. Takes you to all those mushroom salons around him so that he can pay cheaply for your hair. Hi. You're supposed to be Kennedy's uh, help me too, not housemaid. The way Kennedy is treating you, treating you as if you are, you, are, you are his housemaid. You see the way they married those are grandmothers. That's the way Kennedy is marrying you. You should be able to save. He should be the one giving you money so that he can use and do all these things. You're just a toy, doll baby. Kennedy will keep you in the house. Then you go and buy clothes. You know how they put where those doll babies clothes. That's what he's doing to you. I'm telling you. Why would Kennedy be treating you like this? Oh, he wants to make you baby making machine. Ah, Sylvia, no wonder. The 5,000 that I asked you now, it's not as if I don't have it. Uh, it's just because of uh, the sun is too much. That's why. But the way I'm seeing things now, I will stress myself and go to the bank and collect it. We should look. Okuna wale lukabalo. Onye kwenki yefue. Okuna wale lukabalo. Bombo, bombo. Uno plan welo. Se wichi follow amo. It's fine, just checking the oil. Uh -huh. I need some money to renew our TV subscription. Okay, I will do that, but not now, please. You have to exercise little patience. Let me sort rules and down. Also, see what I can do. I don't understand. It was this rose madness in this house. Baby, you have to understand. If Michael and I don't take care of Rose, who will? <laughs> I see. Okay. It's fine. Where's that pocket? This is 20,000 naira. Please give it to Rose when she wakes up. It's for her textbooks. I will. Thank you very much. Help me get the gate. Okay. sleeping when you left in the morning. You forgot to drop the money for my textbooks. <clears throat> I gave it to my wife to give you. Honey? Mm -hmm. I thought you gave her the money. No, I I had need for important things so I used it. I don't understand. You used the money meant for my textbooks for your personal needs. <laughs> Rose, don't worry. I know my wife. She's just joking. No, it's no joke. I'm sick and tired of all this. I mean, don't I deserve good things anymore? Everywhere in this house, rose, 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 rose. I used it. Ah. Uh. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in your marshmallow bed. 
I want to sleep here. Why are you avoiding sleeping with your husband? Eh? What is wrong? You're supposed to be in bed with me. Besides, sleeping on the couch is not good for your health. Please, please, stop this, your preaching. I need peace. Peacefully, go back to your matrimonial bed and sleep with your sister. What is all this now? Allow me to sleep wherever I want to. Please. My sister, are you listening to yourself? What has my sister got to do with you sleeping on the couch? I have less than two weeks to go back to school and I need all the textbooks I can lay my hands on to write my project. And now Sylvia has seized the little money that my brother raised for me to buy a few textbooks. What do I do? I don't want to bother Kennedy or Michael because my school fees is enough to drain their salary. Do I call my friend Elvis? Elvis has done too much for me already. God, please, Mr. Why didn't you mop the house? Rose! Rose! I said, why didn't you mop the house? What is wrong with you? Eh? Do I look like a maid to you? How dare you talk to me like that in my husband's house? My father's house, point of correction. This entire video was built by my father, not your husband. So get it straight. <laughs> Rose! So you don't talk back at me. Who the hell are you? Never you in your entire life lay a finger on me again. You will regret this, Rose! You will regret this! Baby, why are you crying? What happened? <laughs> Talk to me, what happened? Why are you crying? Is it not Rose? Is it not your sister that beat me up, tore my clothes, and even locked me out of my house? Rose did what? <laughs> Sorry, I, I I don't understand. <laughs> well, what don't you understand about it? Look at my clothes. Look at my clothes. Everything is torn. Rose just beat me up, tore my clothes, locked me outside. Why would she? The, the money I used yesterday, all the money I used, nothing else, just the money. It's okay, it's okay, baby. Trust me, I will fix this, okay? <laughs> no, it's it's okay. In my ass, they get to kill me. Baby, it's, kill okay, me. it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not listen to you. If you don't 
apologize to my wife, I will kill you. That's the promise. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If you don't apologize to my wife, I will let you. <laughs> Sister, was it for Ken to come back and report to him? I swear with my life. I did not do anything to Sylvia. I did not fight her. She only slapped me and I retaliated. I did not fight Sylvia. Why is she lying against me? Why is she doing this? I did not do anything to her. It's alright. I did not do anything to her. It's okay, it's okay. Just, just let me and apologize. Okay? Sister, she did not fight her. Why did you not do anything to her? Eh? Are you still there? Are you still there? You know we are a family that stands for peace. I cannot allow you to stay here simply because you had misunderstanding with Ken and the wife. So you go back to Ken and the wife and apologize to them. After which, if you still want to stay here, I will happily oblige. I will not apologize to that Jezebel. Not when I'm innocent, brother. Not when I'm innocent. If you don't do the right thing, I will not allow you to stay here. Don't worry, I will talk to my husband. Hmm? Now go to Ken and apologize to him and the wife. Did you see her? They said she left the hostel one month ago. What in God's name is this? I can't help but wonder how could Rose switch off her phone and abandon her family just like that? But you should have gone to her department to check on her. I did. And the only information I got from her best friend was that she was hospitalized for two weeks before she left. And Rose didn't deem it fit to communicate us? God. Did her friend tell you what the problem was? Yeah, um, she said she suffered from um, blood pressure and emotional trauma. Ken. Ken, I think we made a mistake. You see, what if Rose is innocent and nobody believed her? Mike, honestly speaking, I'm confused. I don't even know what to think. Excuse me. Please, I'm looking for Umenwa's compound. Umenwa? Yes. Umenwa's family is very big. So you have to tell me the particular person you're looking for. 
Okay, his name is Ignatius. He's based abroad, but his mother is in this village. Oh, Igine? Yes. Igine Nane. Yes. Yeah. The one that stayed in Italy. Oh, thank God, you know them. I've walked and walked and walked. I was becoming so exhausted. So, where? I will. How go? Igine died in Italy. And his mother is also dead. Oh, again. Hey! Hello! Oh, no, sir! Hey! Hey! Somebody help me! Oh, oh no, sir! Hey! That was how I left my family house. Wouldn't they be looking for you? Oh, fuck, what guy can you go? Don't you think so? I know they'll be searching for me. But I'm not doing this because I want to. I just don't want to cause problems between my brothers and their wives. So how come you know Ignatius mother, since you're not from this village? Ignatius and I used to be very close friends. I've, I used to follow him to this village to see his mother. But about a year ago, his number stopped connecting and he stopped calling me. About the same time, he died on his way to Italy. And his mother died two months ago. Please, Ebere, I'm begging you and your brother to allow me to stay in this village with you. I don't have anywhere else to go, and I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Please. It's okay. But. I don't, I don't know if you can afford the kind of life you live. I don't know if you can manage. I don't have a choice. A few months after I left my family house, I took ill. And I took all my properties in school to take care of myself. I sold everything I had. I just need a place to stay. And I can't afford to go home. That's why I'm just begging you to please just allow me to just stay here. Don't worry. Hmm? My brother and I do not have problems. It's just that our parents died some years ago and things have been difficult. But since you said you can manage, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome to our home. a simple question and I would really appreciate it if you tell me the truth. Okay. What happened between you and Rose? What do you mean what happened between me and Rose? Didn't I tell you what happened? Were you not aware of everything? Baby, calm down. Rose is nowhere to be found. She's not with you. That's in case means something is definitely wrong somewhere. Rose is nowhere to be found. <laughs> I see. No wonder that girl has been collecting huge amount of money from you and your brother. Yes! She must have eloped with her boyfriend. If not, why would they find her yesterday and be in school? Will you shut up? How dare you talk about my sister before me like that? Are you crazy or something? You're the one who is crazy here. Yes! And please, don't ask me such questions next time. Your sister, everywhere, Rose. If I carry anything in this house, Rose, Rose, Rose! We are going to die for Rose. Rose everywhere, Rose! Winifred. Winifred! 
Who took the money from my wallet? I'm not talking to you. With the Fed, am I not talking to you? Who took the money from my wallet? Hey, hey. is it because of 10,000 that I want to shut down the house? Eh? You want to pack like a dog because of. Reduce your voice. Ha! Are you out of your mind? Are you, are you stupid? How dare you refer to me as a dog? Okay. Eh? Are you stupid? Okay. My exercise before you enter. This hot afternoon. Exercise. Uh, don't mind you. I was feeling uh, my body was a bit heavy this afternoon. So I said, let me bond the fat. That's why. Hey, we'll go for oh, change. All right, these are the things. Thank you. I would recommend you, you do this exercise in the afternoon, especially when the weather is very hot. It bonds the fat faster. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll try it. Okay. All right. Bye try, bye. Eh? I will. Bye bye. Thank you. Michael. Yes, ma'am. I want to cook and there's no gas. Oh, gas? Please, please. Just give me 20 minutes. I need to finish this seminar. I have to spend my boss as much as possible. Please, just give me 20 minutes. Hmm? I don't get you. What are you implying? I should wait for you to finish God knows the nonsense you're doing. I'm trying to prepare something for my boss. Please, don't start with the nugget now, please. I need to concentrate. Oh, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. So now I'm nagging. But I told you I need gas to cook. Save your breath. I will stop nagging. It's even said that action speaks louder than words. What's the problem? Give me Daisy's school fees. Baby. Sickness. Hold on. Just go to your room, okay? We'll continue this later. I want to discuss with your mom, alright? Okay. Yeah. 
I don't understand. Did you keep any money here because I can't find any money? Stop that joke. See, if you do not give me that school fees today, when she resumes school next week, you'll be the one to go to her school and pay it. I will not collect it again. Winifred, can I ask you a question? When will you learn manners? Look at the way you were shouting in front of our little daughter. Is this the best way to request for money from your husband? Why don't you do it in a better form? Ask for the money than, than being rude. Leave all this your 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 teachings that you torment me with and your questions. What matters is you giving me the school fees. Beautiful. Well, I don't have it now. I'll give it to you next week. Oh, I knew it. Michael, you are good for nothing. You keep claiming that you go to work every morning, you carry your briefcase, you're going to work. Meanwhile, you come back, you don't even have anything. I am just disappointed in you. Is that all you can say? Have you finished? Give me the money. Mm. I told you next week. You don't want to go? Uh, probably you want to sit down and relax. Jesse didn't finish her cook. Maybe you will continue when she stopped. I have something very important on teaching my daughter about noses and the rest. So you can relax and enjoy. Daisy! Wilfred, do you know I've not sold anything from this shop since the morning? <laughs> That's fun. Hey, hey! Sylvia, you will not cease to amuse me. So what? In this almost empty shop? <laughs> Hey, Sylvia, why don't you just call them money from your husband, buy some real goods and fill up this empty shop? See, my husband said I should manage here for the time being, that he has better plans for me. That is what every man will say, because no man wants his wife to be richer than him. Yes. Do you remember the last time that Rose came, mm -hmm. that your husband said he didn't have any money? You're right. But that did not stop him from spending on her. You're right. I'll talk to my husband about this. Yes. Anyway, that's by the way. I am saving up money to buy very fine listing chairs. So it looks sexy for my husband now. Look all these small, small girls matching away from me. Don't let that bother you. Allow your husband to bother for such things. Let me use my husband as an example for you. Just two nights ago. He was uh, surfing online and he saw these beautiful waist clinchers. He just called me, honey, and I came and he said, pick anyone you want. Huh? He didn't say one, no. Just pick anyone you want. And I picked three. He just paid online. Yes. Just like that. Let me tell you, you should better stop taking care of yourself. Because the more you do, your husband will not seem that he is responsible for you. I'm telling you. Wilfred, you're not just my co-wife or a friend, but you're more than a sister to me. Thanks for this inspiring piece of advice. You're welcome. Ah. Any day, my dear. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 Give me water. Who no plan well, say we should follow our more. As you make your bed, don't so you lie on top of If you so cut a cut a cut a cut a cut a cut There is no dinner. Meaning? 
He did not keep any money for dinner. I don't understand. I gave you 60,000 naira to buy food stuff. What are you talking about? Oh! You did, I almost forgot. Eh, there's this uh, waist cincher. Waist cinchers I saw online. So I ordered, uh, I ordered them. Luckily for me, they delivered them today. I just used the money and paid to look good for you. Sorry, what is waist cincher? I forgot that you're a bushman. Waist cincher, this thing that ladies wear to, to have a natural figure eight. To use and press their stomach inside, you can call it a body shaper. Excuse me, are you out of your senses? You used a whole sixty thousand naira to buy wasting char. <coughs> Michael, you're getting it all wrong. I did not say wasting char. I said wasting chars. Three, not one. I bought three. And that's why you not prepare food. I already told uh, Sylvia that you bought me waist cincher. Eh? I had to buy it so that I would cover your mess and also look good for you. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up your mouth! Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You spent a whole 60,000 naira on waist cincher, whatever you call it. And you had the guts to look me in the face and say you want to look fine for me. Waist cincher! Shut up! So that I don't get out of shit. <laughs> We're losing our light, you know. I already bought two one from my colleague in the office. I will bring it home tomorrow. Mm, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Do I tell him about boosting my business now? Or do I leave him to his own opinion? No. Wilfred was right. I need to make my own money. I'll talk to him about it later. I saw my husband complaining to you. Mm. He told me how bad you've been. He's very stupid to have said that. If you live with us just for one hour, you understand what I passed through every day in the hands of that man. But anyway, what did you tell me? <laughs> Don't you trust me? I trust you, John. I quickly put him in his place. In fact, I told him that he should learn from his elder brother Michael and see how Michael tolerates me. I wish you would listen to me. Wilfred, I admire your marriage with your husband so much. Hmm. It's God though. In fact, my husband is a gift from God. My husband tolerates me. He doesn't misunderstand me one bit. In fact, if my mood changes, he'll start apologizing. You can't imagine. Just in a good. But I don't know. I am tired of Kennedy. In case this marriage, I will go. I am just tired. 
C'est toi. C'est ton mari. C'est ton mari. C'est ton mari. C'est ton mari. I don't know how my brothers are doing. I miss and love my family so much, but it hurts to know that they turned their backs on me for something I am innocent of. Our family is torn apart. I know my parents will be disappointed anywhere they are, but I still don't get how my brothers that loved me with the last blood that flows in them could watch me walk away. What is it? You're crying. I love my family so much. I love my brothers with everything I have, with the last drop of my blood. I, know. I just don't understand why they would do this to me. Why they would accuse me of something I am innocent of. I love them so much. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Okay? It's okay. I love my family. I love my brothers. I, know I you love, love them their so wives. much. I love them. Please everybody. stop crying. Stop crying. Okay. I love Take of a husband. What? Look at the way you were taking unmerited credit from me. I see you are the one that bought this my beautiful uh, um, jumpsuit. Holy, shut up! Did I ask you to brave me? Did I beg for any praise? Besides, what do you do? Do you work? It's not my money that you keep stealing that you used to buy the clothes. Who stole? Who are you calling a thief? Look at this one. I don't even know what I'm doing with you. You keep wondering until I send you packing. Who will you send packing? Look at this unmerited uh, 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 he Useless man. What did you say? Come down. What is it? I said, get down! When I get home, I collect money from Sylvia. Ha, what if she's not at home? What am I supposed to do? Eh? And then the taxi man will now disgrace me. Ha, people may be thinking I'm running mad. I don't blame this matter. This man doesn't have conscience. Mike, you're wicked. I am. The don't worry, you'll be fine. Hmm? I don't know if Onyeke Miss will agree to make us drugs. You know, you still owe him 1,200 naira. I know. But just go and try. There is no harm in trying. Hmm? Okay. Just go, maybe he will give us some drugs. Okay, let me try. Hmm? 
Rejected me. You and your brother that you could become the world today. Okay. Joe, good afternoon. Now, Uzo, this one you are running like this. I hope you have my money. Joe, please. I need you to understand me more than ever. Yeah. Rose is seriously sick, and I need you to give me some drugs. I'll pay you later. Again? Wait, wait. Who's all? Oh, you did go. You don't have money always. Get your name in. You want to run this shop down? Every time, credit, 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 credit. See, if not because of this small love I'm having for your sister, I wouldn't have been giving you this thing. It's all run my shop down. Do you want to run down this shop? Please. Where am I all? Please. When will you even start having money? As soon as I sell my farm produce, I will pay you immediately. Nice. Take, take this one, let her go. See? Okay. If the symptoms persist, you bring her. Okay, thank you. You know? Thank you. Papa also. Okay. Thank you. Where is your husband? Um, eh? Oh, my husband. There is this gold that he saw. Fine gold. He said, let him get it for me. So I said, okay, you should get it. Let me go and drink water. Eh? So is that Baby. why you have to run, uh, walk all the way from me? Ah, me. <laughs> I said, let me walk and see if I'm still fit. You know how I walk out. <laughs> water. I need water. I'm coming. Okay. Baby. Baby. I need water. Welcome, oh. Oh, you're very lucky. Very lucky, Mama. Not like your papa. This is a check of 50,000 Naira. Please use it and buy clothes for yourself and Jay. Are you serious? Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll cash it to me. Okay. Come on, no keys, no hog, no pen. Show some love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay now? Yeah, I feel better. <laughs> 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 Why are you closing so early? My dear Ed, I'm not closing. I want to quickly get to the bank and do some transaction. Bank? Yes. Why you don't have to go to the bank to do any transaction? Why don't you just stay in your house and use your phone? And do any transaction you want to. My husband wrote me a check of 50,000 naira last night to buy some clothes for myself and Jade. So I want to quickly <laughs> withdraw it. Why is that Kennedy so stingy? You mean he gave you 50,000 naira for you and Jade? Mm -hmm. That 50,000 naira that he gave you is what my husband gives me monthly. Eh? <laughs> Apart from that, he gives me money to use and cook and do other things separately. It's not in the salary. Hey. Anyway, we're afraid. I've always known you're a lucky woman. I didn't even tell you. Do you know that my husband used to give me his salary to give for him? Yes. At least with that, I can even take out money from it whenever I like to do anything that I want. I'm the one that became very uncomfortable with it though. I just decided to stop it. 
and on top of it, he still gives me money. Almost every time that I ask, you know? Can you imagine? Anyway, I've always known my marriage is a mistake. I've always told you that uh, my husband is a very big gift from God to me. <sighs> Wilfred, I want to ask you something. Biko, can you just take me to that place you brought the charm that you're using holding my Go for it. I cannot do that. Why are you saying anything like this? I've always told you that my husband is a gift from God. Well, okay, it's okay. No problem. Don't worry. Just take things in here. Yeah? Oh, Anna. Let me just get to the bathroom. Okay. Um, have you lost? Uh -huh. I want to buy something. I'll give you the money tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, now wait. Let me go to the bank and come back, please. Mm. Mm. Things have not been working out as planned, but I will keep pushing. Are you complaining? What about me? It's not been easy either. Especially when you have a woman like Winifred. She's a whole lot of trouble. Are you serious? I'm not kidding you. <laughs> you are blessed then because my own wife, she's what I call Rattle Snake. She nags on this tree, she picks up quarrel, she fights me. What is happening to us? How did we land ourselves in this kind of way? Honestly speaking, I regret getting married. I regret getting married. Hey, darling. Yeah? Honey, uh, please talk. All right. Uh, my wife's calling me. Let me see that. Okay. I drink this time. Okay. If you do not give me that money for me to use and go shopping for me and Daisy, I'm not leaving you today. Please, I've told you, I don't have money. Times are hard. I don't have money for shopping. That money is story for the gods. If you don't give me that money today, this house is not contain us. And if you don't leave me now, I will so deal with you. Let's see. Fun, enjoy yourself. In fact, make him scream more. Oh, you are welcome, brother in law. <laughs> Thank you. As you make your bed, don't I say you lie on top of 
If you so kata kata, you go rip jaga jaga. If you so tomato, you go chop tomato. Hey. What's so? Ken, the 50,000 naira you gave me to shop with was not enough to buy anything for Iron Jade. So? So, give me my money. <coughs> Did you ask me for any money before I gave you that 50,000 naira? Ken, I must not ask you. Other men save their salary in their wife's account. Oh. So, why is your own difference? Other men save their salary in their wife's account. Yes. I can see you are the Delilah of our generation. And trust me, I won't be your Samson. Ken, you're stupid. Yes. Little money other men give their wife as daily allowance. Come on, 50,000 naira. That is what you give to me. <laughs> anyway. I don't blame you now, you have very poor mind. It's not your fault. I don't blame you at all. I blame myself for giving you 50,000 naira for no reason. Okay. okay, I see that good money. How are you? Can you just help me sweep my potion as well? Ah, oh, okay. yes. um, Thanks. Uh, Sylvia, uh -huh. hey. Um, she cannot do. Uh, she has uh, so many things to do inside the house. Please. Eh? It's okay. Don't worry, oh. Sorry. I'm so bad. Sorry for yourself, monkey, scallywag. You go see that will feed you. Mm. Let me let me see you sweep. And I will help you. Come on, sweet daddy. Feed you. You know I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Because you will help her. Sweet, let me see you help her. Feed you. Monkey. You see whether I'll pay your salary. Sweet this thing. Really? By who? I asked um, Elizabeth Wilfred Smith to help me sweep her own portion of the compound since I was very busy. But Wilfred refused. Well, she can't just refuse without reason. No, she only said uh, that Elizabeth has a lot of things to do in the house. I was just so. Don't worry. Once in a while, when I'm less busy, I'll help you do the sweeping. Really? Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. My wife is inside. Really? And you are sweeping the compound. This is a woman's duty. <laughs> My wife is very, very busy inside. Besides, I'm free today, so I decided to help her. Oh. Hi, Ken. You are a very nice man. Hi. Well, I pray with all these things that you're doing. 
I just uh, hope that uh, Sylvia will change to a better person. Well, I pray and hope so too. But as a living soul, I will try my best and leave the rest for God. Amen. Thank you. That is the way it should be. Eh? These are husbands that are supposed to be our helpmates. That is just it. See, he did the right thing. You understand? There are lots of chores to do in this house. And I can't be doing it all, all by myself. Wow. He has to help. Thumbs up, thumb up, thumb two, two, two. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have got him to sweep the compound, eh? you also have to get him to do those other chores and also wash plates just the way my husband does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll do it. Madam, I'm ready to go to the market. Eh, Diana, you just use this money and buy um, a crate of eggs for me. Eh? Okay. Don't forget the big ones. Okay, Madam, I'm going uh -huh. to go fast though, okay. eh? so that you will come back and make dinner. Okay. Go fast though. Okay. You buy everything fast, oh! Okay, big eggs, oh! Eh, uh, Sylvia, don't you think it's time uh, you get yourself a house help? Okay, I really want to, but well, my husband refused. Your husband? <laughs> if you keep waiting for your husband's approval, he will never accept. You need to insist, eh? You need someone to help you. My dear old friend. Kennedy is not as easygoing as your husband Michael, who does virtually everything in the house. Mm. Eh? Kennedy is not like that. But I'll see what I can do about it. He needs to help me out before I start developing wrinkles. Yeah? Uh, can you take me to the market? I want to buy some things. Sorry, love, I can't. I have a seminar to present in my office in the next one hour. Okay? Ken. She always have excuse. But you have to take me to the market this morning. I just said I have a seminar to present in my office in the next one hour. Do you want me to lose my job? It's always your job. You're taking me to the market now. Listen, love. It's too early to pick up a fight. This is 5,000 naira. You can buy a cab, okay? It's not enough. You have to take me to the market right now. This minute. Shh. Boy. Listen, it's too early to pick up a fight. Mm -hmm. Buy a cab. <laughs> I can't buy a cab at all. Uh -uh. Do you ever think of your family? Why is it your job, your job? Let me, which one? Miko, oh, take me oh, to the market. Right. It's, okay. Uh -huh. it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just turn around, let me drop it. Better. You only understand the, 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 the language of quarrel and fight. How long will it take you to wash ordinary clothes? Madam, I'm done with the clothes, but those clothes are not ordinary clothes, so they are too much. Shut up! Go and clean up my room and daisies. Okay, ma. Madam, I'm sure. Have you come back in? Have you swept the compound this morning? Not yet, no. Elizabeth, why do I pay you? Do I have to remind you of every single thing you ought to do? Come on, 
the compound. Okay. Come, 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 come. Make sure you sweep just a portion. I'm true. Mm -hmm. Go and make dinner. Not at all. Never. Not again will Elizabeth cook in this house. That's better. Then you go and do the cooking. When you friend, what, what kind of woman are you? Do you realize you're a woman? And somebody's wife at that? Eh? How comfortable do you feel sending your fellow woman on an errand in the house while you just sit down here, drop your legs on the table and just bring painting? Keep ranting like a fool. When you finish, you go and make the dinner. Ah. Uh. You've been moody for some days now. And it doesn't make us happy. What is the problem? Please, share it with us. Huh? Rose, have we not been fair to you? Have we hurt you or offended you in any way? You, you both have been so wonderful to me. And I can't ask for any more love than you've already shown me. Really? Then, what is the problem? Rose. Oh no, we can no, no. Say something. I feel so incomplete whenever I think of my family. At the same time, I don't want to go home. But I still have them in my heart. And I remember how loving and kind they used to be. It just means them a lot. Why not forgive them and go back to them? Hmm? I don't hold any grudges against them. I just don't want to go to the family house for the sake of peace. I still have them here in my heart. But I just, I can't go back home. Oh no. It's okay, my dear. Hmm? We won't force you to go. But whenever you decide to go back to them, So as I was saying, um, why don't you do it this way? Good plan, sir. Morning. Hold on. Elizabeth, yeah. please help me tell my wife to give you a church card of 1,000 naira. Okay, sir. Uh -huh. So my guy, what's up now? 
Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is the money? But he did not give me any money. He thought she fool. So he didn't give you money and he sent you to my shop to come and collect card. Do I manufacture card? Do you miss me? Do I manufacture card? Where do you want me to get card from? Is he not a stupid man? Madam is okay now. Why are you insulting your husband like that? From where? Because drink your mineral and stop interfering in my family affair. I'll give me Sorry. Elizabeth. Brother. What's giving you? I'm still I to collect money for the house. So yeah, I sent for a charge card. Where is the money? Where is the money? I don't understand. So you don't have shame. So you walked all the way from the house to this shop to come and collect card on credit. From the shop you refused investing in. Ah, oh, Kennedy. Do you realize you're in public and you're talking to your husband? What public? Kennedy, you may be head public. I'll talk to you in public. Eh? Why would you come here and say I should give you card in public? On credit, Makadinezi. Do I manufacture card? And my manufacture card. Husband, do you behave like one? Do you behave like one? I don't behave like one. Kennedy, you don't behave like husband. I don't know what you expect. In fact, Kennedy, look at my shop. You go to shop and you refuse the investment and you're here asking on credit. Sure, it's obvious you like home training. Inside now, why are you here? <sighs> Baby, I'm sorry, okay? Please forgive me, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for beating you up, I'm sorry for the family. You know, I've not done that before. You pushed me to the wall. Please, I'm sorry, I promise I will never ever touch you again, okay? Get your hands off me, you devil! I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Say you did not even bother to ask after me because if you did, they would have told you that I traveled. How will you say that? I asked Elizabeth, but she said you only went out. Don't mind that stupid girl. He's my husband, though. One morning he just woke up and told me he made a reservation for me at Ubukato uh, Ranch. I just packed my things though, and went there to stay for a while. Yeah, you're so lucky. Unlike me, I'm afraid you won't believe. Kennedy, your husband brother, beat me up and 
disgraced me along the streets. What? Are you serious? It didn't end there. When I went inside to rest on my own, this man still came to me and asked for food. Ha! That is wickedness. How can a man that you change your surname to his have the mind to beat you? <laughs> hmm. If my husband tries any nonsense, I will just simply divorce him. What nonsense is that? Kennedy asked for trouble. Me, I will give him double. That is what it should be. Don't even allow any man to take you as a piece of trash. Don't even allow oh, any man. I won't allow that though. <laughs> anyway, forget the living day. So, how is the book cutting that? Right? You've been dying to be dead. <laughs> is that something to gist though? Because if I start this thing, where will I start from? It's, you need to go there and see for yourself. Show me the pictures you took there. I want to see them. Please, Sylvia, don't even remind me what I'm trying so hard to forget. Immediately I came back, Daisy formatted my phone. All my oh. pictures, everything I had, even the one I had the last time we traveled, everything just disappeared. <sighs> okay, fine. But the, oh, the really changed you. <laughs> See your glasses. Can I just have it? Hey, it's medicated though. Hey, hmm. I developed eye problem while there are too much sightseeing, so my husband bought it for me. Please, then, just give me a uh, moment to drink. Okay. Yeah. Sit down. God, my dear, no matter the situation, you shouldn't have laid your hands on your wife. This is unlike you. Eh? Namo. No. And you, Beatrice, you should learn to respect your husband. Don't roll your mouth like typewriter on your husband. Eh? Children of nowadays, I don't know where you go. Learn all these silly attitudes. Hmm? Yeah. During our time, we, 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 we don't behave this well. We respect our husbands. Eh? We don't even talk when they are talking. In any slight mistake, you will be on your knees, begging, begging, begging. Apologize till your husband forgives you. But nowadays, I don't know. Eh? Because you people don't respect your husband, it's every time quarrel, 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 and quarrel, which is not good. My dear, if you respect your husband, peace will reign. Hmm? Oh, name. Oh? Because, God, my dear, please, forgive her. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Please forgive me. It's all temptations. I promise I won't do it again. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Sit down. <clears throat> uh, Mama, I'd like to thank you once again for, for everything, for saving my marriage and um, for every other marriage you've saved in this community. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you. We thank God. We thank God. Mama, thank you very much. I guess we have to be on our way now. My dear, please, remember what I told you. If you respect your husband, there will be no quarrel. Even the Bible gave us that instruction. Wife, obey your husband. Huh? You know what? Hello? Mama, Kennedy has killed me. What happened? That man has turned me into a punching bag. He beats me every now and then. In fact, Mama, I'm not in prison. I'm no longer in marriage. Is it Kennedy that I know or another Kennedy? The Kennedy you know, the one you gave my hand in marriage to. No, no, no. He's not the one I gave your hand in marriage to. He's the one you accepted to marry. See, Mama, whatever. The truth is that I'm coming back. So where? Uh, 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 okay, okay, don't worry. I will come and know what the problem is. 
Stop coming now before that vampire kills me. My daughter, don't worry. He will not kill you. Well? Huh? See, if I just wait for you and I, didn't, I don't see you. I'll just start coming home. Uh-uh. Uh, don't come back home. Just be patient. I'll come soonest. Sylvia, uh, hello? Hello? This girl has caught this call. Anyway, I'll have to hurry and know what the problem is. I wonder where Rose is and how she is faring. I made a very big mistake by throwing my sister out because of my wife. Our parents will be so ashamed of me in their graves. I will not rest until I find Rose and make peace. My conscience is tormenting me. Eh? What did you say happened to her? Rose is very sick now. I miss you. As the husband, now, okay? Joe, please, follow me to the house. I don't have any means of bringing her here. Nah. Ozo, your problem is too much. I'm even getting tired of always running to my tummy. Every small thing you run to me. Go and bring her. Nah, you can go. Go and bring her. I can't go with you, bro. Did I ever ask for a household in this house? You were the one who chose to get more. So go ahead and solve that your problem. Honey, you're my husband. Hmm? Whatever concerns me also concerns you. First, first of all, I need to get something clear here. We have two husbands in this house. You and me. So why don't you go ahead and sort out your problems like every other man out there? I'm not trying to play a good word just because you're having problems. By the way, when did you start calling me honey, honey and all that? Game player. Play on. Um, Ozo, hmm? who did you say this girl is against? Eh? She's my, my, my mother's sister's child. Your mother's sister's child? Yes. Meaning that she's your cousin now? Mm. Yes. Anyway, you see this girl? As you are looking at this girl now, this girl is gone. You have to take her to a very big hospital so that they will do her proper medical examination. You have to examine every part of her. If you don't take her to the hospital, this person will die. As I'm talking to you now, so you have to take her to the hospital as soon as possible. And it will, it will require a huge amount of money. Eh? But I don't know how. Meaning? What do you mean by don't know her? You don't know her. You know Buari? Wait, you don't know this girl. You know Buari? You for paracetamol. You bought for paradon. And you don't know her. Yeah, Is it true? Eh? Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no, hey, okay, you don't know her. Even this, me, Joe, I have never, I have not seen you for the first time. Huh? 
I have not given you my paracetamol or my panadol. Bruna, come! Come on, show me what you have. Come on, show me what you have. Come on, show me what you have. In fact, let me tell him. I'm not saying anything. It's no good. Come on, show me what you have. Come on, show me what you have. Come on, show me what you have. Police, they are here now. You see no more restrict. Come on, 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 come I want you to take me to wherever you got the charm you're using to hold your husband. Biko, I also need that charm. See, I need my husband to love me the same way your husband does to you. <laughs> Nobody will hear this. It's just between the two of us. I promise. Makachineki. <laughs> Sylvia. <laughs> oh. Sylvia. The truth is, my husband loves me unconditionally. He loves me against all odds. That is the reason why he treats me like a queen. There's nothing more, I swear. <laughs> but another thing is, I do not tolerate nonsense from him. So with that, he respects me and also respects himself. I have done that to Kennedy, but he gets worse by the day. Try harder. The tougher you get, the easier he becomes. Ah, is that not my mother? That's my mother coming. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Bo. Hey, hey, mama. Mama, how are you? Mama, you won't understand. <laughs> if you had seen me last week. Kennedy gave me the beating of my life. Eh? Hey. You needed to have seen my face. This my eyes. All my face was so swollen that I couldn't even see anything properly. Mm -hmm. Was it that serious? But the in-law I know is a gentleman. How come he changed overnight? Mm. Hmm. Kennedy, gentle. Which gentleman? Mama Kennedy is a wolf in sheep clothing. Kennedy hides under his sheep clothes. Does he smoke a uh, wee wee or drink too much alcohol? No. Never seen. Is he keeping a uh, extramarital affair? That is, uh, you know now. Mm -mm. Mama, not that I know. Of. Uh, that means something was wrong somewhere. Yes. But now that I am here, I am going to find out where the problem is coming from by myself. Mama, all these things. Mama, just if Kennedy comes back, Kukasia, Kukasia everywhere. Ah, it's the one that we are talking about here now. Kukasia, yeah. Ah. Mama, it's been up to two months now. You have not paid me my salary. Is that why you're putting your hand on your weight? Please, I will pay you as soon as I collect money from my husband. Just try and exercise some patience for me. Madam, if I wait up to next week and you did not pay me my salary, I will go on strike. I will pay you! <laughs> me, I've said my own. I've said my own. Why is that to be special to you? Don't mind her. Because of small money. Chicken money. Mama, the moment my wife called me and said you were around, <laughs> I had to abandon what I was doing in the office. Just wash down here and see because I've really, really missed you. Mm -hmm. Hope you won't be in a rush this time. 
my son and would have loved it. But nobody to take care of my goats and my farm. <laughs> I even took my goats to my brother to look after them till I return. So you see, I will come back. Mama. Ah, your goats and farm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Mama, wait. Don't tell me that the reason you called us out here is to talk about goats and farm. When I told you that uh, Kennedy here wants to kill me, and you're here talking about goat and farm, instead of you to talk to him. Sylvia, is this house to present issues? Who taught you this? Where are your manners? Mama, Kennedy has hit off my manners. This Adolf Hitler, he has hit off my manners. Which one is manners? He has beaten off my manners. Kennedy beats me every now and then. Ah! Uh -huh. Mama, if they give me side, you want to come here and talk to Kennedy. Don't do it, though. Let me talk to him myself. Oh my I've said it, so if you're not going to talk to Kennedy, you better leave me. Hmm. Sylvia, it's only an evil mother that misleads her child. I cannot mislead you. Uh, from my observations, you don't have a single respect for your husband. Mama, Kennedy doesn't deserve my respect. And I will not respect him until he changes. What does he do wrong? Everything. He does everything wrongly. The way he talks, the way he breathes, the way he walks, Mom, in fact, Mama, we home with me. My child, the part you're throwing is a very wrong one. Mother, on whose side are you? The side of truth. The day Kennedy paid your bride price, automatically he became my son. I cannot rob Peter to pay Paul. He fetched the ant infested firewood, so I'm sure he is expecting lizards. Oh, oh, oh. You now use adage on your mother. The same Igbo adage says, what an old woman sees seated, even if a child climbs the tallest Iroko tree, he can never see it. I am your child. You should have my well-being at heart. A child is a child and deserves to be treated well. Do not expect preferential treatment from you when you are wrong. Sylvia, change. The Bible says, wife, obey your husband. And husband, love your wife. Or are you leaving that out? I don't know what kind of problem is this. Which mother would ever prefer a stranger to her own child? What did you say? Did you notice anything between uh, Wilfred and Michael? Anything like what? I don't think they are in it. There is something strange about them. Mama, the problem about you is that you don't even know couple that are in love when you see one. Yes. It's only a blind man that will see Wilfred and Michael and still say they are not in love. What? As you lay your bed, so shall you lie in it. Oh, so bad. The amount of love you give to your husband is what you get in return. Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please come, I want to tell you something. Hurry. Get twenty thousand naira from you, please. It's very Fred. urgent. I need to do something immediately. Huh. Oh, Fred, I'm sorry. The last money I had, I just used it in buying some goods. Hey, hey. What am I going to do now? But you can go to the bank now. You have more than that in your account. Um. Yes, my BVN has issues. Ah, but. We did BV and the other day and we linked it together. Um, yes. Ah, I didn't tell you. The bank called me this morning that my account didn't link properly. I have to go back there and do it, but I need this money immediately. Ah. OK, 
Okay, you know what? Huh? Don't worry, I'll, I'll get it from my husband. Calm down. Huh? Yeah. Hey! Thank you! <laughs> ha! Thank you, Sylvia. Commission. But then, eh, don't tell your husband that you're collecting the money from you. Because my husband just gave me um, 200,000 three days ago. And you know now, if he finds this, if he finds out about this, you will say I mismanaged the money he gave me. Don't worry. Thank I'll you. tell him. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are you bringing it? I'll bring it. I'll collect it from me. Don't okay. worry. I'm waiting. Eh? Just calm down. I'm waiting. Ah. What does she want? She said I should give her to give her. Elizabeth! 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 Go and get me a glass of water. Mother, I may have stopped running errands in this house until you pay me my money. Well then, since you're of no use anymore to me, you have to leave. Hey, madam, I'm going nowhere until you pay me the last cobo. Until you pay me my money, I'm not going anywhere. Hey! In my own house. Are you mad? Are you mad? Hey, madam, you didn't try me. Who did you try me? You don't pay me my money after they work for you. You don't pay me my money, I beg. Which time do this? I can show you that today. No, I don't care. Anyhow, why they sell money for people here? Don't pay me money. Give this woman, oh. If they all need to spend my money, they push me. But then I go use both to scatter your head. Me, I be got all girl, oh. But guess how they calm down for you. This I know, no something. I be got all girl. It's okay. Go bring my money. It's okay. Go bring my it's money okay. now. I will pay you now. Now. Go bring my money. That twist doesn't have an you. My dear, I didn't get it though. I don't have. But why? Eh? You promised to collect from your husband. I couldn't get it. Hey. Madam. Winifred. Huh? I can see you are the problem that my, 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 my daughter is having in this marriage. You are the one beating this together that my daughter has been dancing. How can you ask your fellow wife? To get twenty thousand naira from her husband for you, I don't know. Eh? Mama, you embarrassing me. You embarrassing me. If I get pimp from you again, I will tell you that I am the one who gave birth to you. I'm glad that you're not here. Mia, my friend, leave Sylvia and her family alone. Do you hear me? You are an elder to Sylvia, both marriage-wise and age-wise, and I expected you to affect her positively, not the other way around. Do you hear me? Mama, you have to stop embarrassing me. <laughs> Mama, you have to. Hey, easy. Hey. Mama, Mama, you are embarrassing me in my husband's house. Uh -uh. How can you say that Wilfred is deceiving me? Let me tell you what you don't know. You see that lady? She's somebody I look up to. She has a very happy home. Uh -huh. Happy home indeed. Happy home indeed. Uh, Sylvia, uh, you are yet to understand what you are doing to yourself.
Do you know that marriage is not by force? Marriage is not by force, so me, I am tired. Ha. One thing you should know is that once you are married, you are married. There is no going back. My mom, I'm not coming back to you. It's my husband's house. It's my, it's my father's house, though. So. That is just the problem. That is the problem. Eh? My mother wants to wreck my marriage. See, please, I just need your help right now. My mother cannot stand up to my husband and tell him that what he is doing is wrong. And that is aggravating all the problems in my marriage. You just have to take things easy. Eh? I don't know what Kennedy must have told your mother that will make her turn against her own child. That is the problem. That is it. Please. Afraid, Pico. Just tell me the secret to your happy home, Pico. Sylvia, look at me very well. I am a strong woman, and I do not tolerate any nonsense. So with that, my husband respects it. So me, our advice is to just take things easy. All will be fine. I think you should go now. I don't want her trouble before she sees you. Good friend, is that all? <laughs> On your wanky way, a little bumbo, bumbo. Who no plan well, say which you follow am As you make your bed on us, so you lie on top of If you so kata kata, you go rip jaga jaga. If you so tomato, you go chop tomato. Hey. You guys are playing on top. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah. Don't eat, don't eat this house. Don't, don't. Oh. <laughs> I Rose, told you. I know you don't like it when we talk about your family. But I'm sorry. We have to. Rose. Liku. Where will I go? Hmm? Huh? Don't feel that we are trying to spoil your day. I'm listening. Don't you think you need to contact your family? Why should I contact them? I don't need anything from them. Okay, I understand. But I urge you to give us the contact. Maybe home address or phone number. At least for safety purposes. I don't think any of this is necessary. I am safe and happy here. Rose, I know, but it's very, very important. Please. Okay, I, I think I remember Michael's number. I can't remember that of Kennedy. Okay. 0803 Wait, hey. sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I just can't be shut in. Sorry. Oh. Calm down. Sorry, it's okay. Yeah? Sorry. Right. Sorry, you. We have to rest. If you don't pay me my money, two things, one must happen today. Pay me my money. Whether it's a public place or it's not a public place, me, I don't want to go. The only thing I want to do now is pay me my money. Because you know it's that money I'm using to train my brother. Pay me my money now. Pay me my money. Please. Pay me my money. Oh. I'll go show you as I'll be able. I'll go show you my color now. If you don't pay
give you this money today. Hey, God. God. Hey, if you don't pay me this money, this minute, eh? What I go do you eh? all this company will come out for us. For three months now. Please give me my money, let me get out of here. We are paying my money. Spend my money now. What is this rubbish? You have been only missing to know how to spend my money. You don't have to know what to pay me. How I tell you the sort of you they pretend? Spend my money. Who is bad? Have you gone out of your mind? Why did you become this disrespectful? And the same. It's because of you. I'm not disrespectful. But do you know for good almost three months now, this man has refused to pay me. If I die, she'll stay home tomorrow. If I die, I pay my money, she'll stay next week. What kind of problem she this now? Tell this man to pay me my money now. Pay me my money, oh. Please, babe, calm down. Hey. Calm down. This is not enough reason to disrespect her. Okay, how much are we talking about here? It's 20,000 naira. Only. Okay. No, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll pay you. But mm. please don't embarrass your madam like this next time. Uh -uh. Yeah, oh, I'll pay. Come. Hey! Don't stand your vote today and say, see by the feminist money. You hey. got that? This man. Hey. I'll go. I will pay your blood. Fair woman. Sylvia, how could you give what you don't have? I don't understand. You and I knew that the money you gave to Minifred was stolen from your husband. Can't you be reasonable for once? Hmm? Do you know that whatever belongs to my husband also belongs to me? So I didn't stole his money. It's our money. That woman you stole your husband's money to save. Don't steal from her husband. She does not steal from her husband. All she does is defend her husband, respect her all the time. Mama, I am not in the mood for this discussion now. Mama, you like me? I can see that. Well done. Welcome. How far? I'm fine. And you? I'm all right though. I used to see you with different people. But who is this one with you? Now I've been seeing him with you for some time now. Ah, Auntie Siva, you mean you don't know Nze, the youngest native doctor? Youngest native doctor? Yes. I don't know him, oh. Does he live around here? He lives directly opposite Mama Glory's compound. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. So, Chidi, you're not moving around with native doctors. It was very mad. You know my nature. I don't discriminate. You know me. Mm. Okay. So bad there. Let me watch you. Okay, so you just came to greet me. Yes, so. Nothing else. Yes. Is it boom mad? Uh, so Sylvia. Hi. Mama Biko. Can I be my son? Mm. Biko. I beg you. Hmm? Tolerate your wife and love her beyond her mistakes. Hmm? No marriage without challenges. But your ability to overcome, that is what makes you stronger. Hmm? Be common. Mama, I'm a man of love and peace. I love and appreciate my wife so much. Just that I... I anyways, let me not go into that. God will see us through. Amen. 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 Please. Hmm? Obey your husband. Hmm? You know, oh? Yes, no, so that peace will reign. Oh? So, bad, my dear, mm -hmm. let me go inside and have my things. Like I told you, I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Must stay some more. Right, <laughs> I, stay will some more. <laughs> I will come back. I will come back, eh? You know? Okay. Oh? Right. Sylvia, Ma. you meet me later, eh? Okay. Mm -hmm.
Why did you bring me out here? My brother, I'm beginning to get scared of Rose staying here. Why? What if something happens to her? We don't know her village, we don't know her family, or anything that can easily identify her. I'm scared. You are right, but I don't know what else to do since she's not saying anything. I know what to do. Turn around, turn around. <laughs> ah. Oh! <laughs> no, you see, I don't want to follow. You won't fall, you won't fall. <laughs> Where are you going to? Um, you know, Michael traveled, so, and I'm so bored. So I just want to spend the night at my sister's place. Yeah. Mm. What about Daisy? Ah, I'll pick her up from school. We're going there together. Okay. No problem. Take care of yourself, eh? Thank you. Mm. All right, see you later. All right. Kenny, what's up?
Mama, Mama, Mama Kennedy threw my things out of his house. How? Mama, don't I said even he here with Baba. Kennedy threw my bags out of the house. That means he has sent you packing. Mama, I'm coming back to the village right now. To so whose house? My father's house. You know, whenever I was on Maga, my father's house. I'm going to go But you were proving stubborn. Eh? You were even using adage on me. Your mother, Nemulogam. Sylvia, please, my daughter. There is no room for you in this house. Mama, Mama, where do you want me to go from here? That question should go to Winifred. I have lived in my husband's house for over 35 years. I have never thought of going back to my father's house. are happily married but you are the one who keeps complaining all the time whereas you are the one that God blessed with a good and caring husband uh, uh, Sylvia don't even think of it hello, hello. don't think of coming back to my house I will not only chase you away I will make sure I disgrace you before the entire community rubbish as you make your bed don't I say you lie on top of if you saw kata kata, you go rip jaga jaga. Hey! What manner of mother do I have? Kedo di I don't understand the kind of mother I have. I don't understand. What is the matter? Good for you, eh? Can I just stay in your house till your husband returns so that he can take me to Kennedy and beg him, eh? Sylvia, this one is difficult to me. I don't even know what to say to you now. Eh? See, if your husband throws you out of the house and I take you in without my husband's permission, he won't be happy with me. Kennedy is his younger brother. Eh? Remember the time that uh, you and your husband threw Rose out of the house? My husband did not take her in. If he can say no to his own uh, blood uh, sister, he can also say no to you. Hmm? Understand with me. I will advise you keep your things inside the shop and stay there for now. Hmm? Just for you. Anyway, don't worry, it's okay. I'll be fine here. Yeah. It's okay, don't worry. Should I help you? No, 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 no. Good friend, don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm okay. No, I'm very much okay. Well, thank you. I'm hungry. Let me go and eat. Should I bring food for Real you? Fred, I'm okay. Mm. Just
Thank you. Where are you both headed to? We are just taking a stroll. And if you're not too tired, you can drop the water in the house and meet us up. Yes. As you can see, I'm very, very tired. You I can't you can enjoy yourself, okay? Please cook something for us. Sir. I will. Don't worry. Eh? Were you able to find any trace? Uh, yes. Um, I found this in her bag and her brother's numbers are there. So we have to look for a way to call them in a call center. Only you can make this call in a minute. So How? But it's true. Once you ask Joe Chemist for his phone to make call, he won't hesitate. You know I don't like that guy. Please stop calling his name. We have to look for a way to raise money and call her family. She really needs help. And we are the only ones that can help her. Please. Let's look for a way. Hmm? Biko. Biko again. Biko. Biko, well, joking is the end. I love going to go. Biaka, eh, for Biko. Service. I am only a native doctor. Mm. <laughs> My marriage is crumbling. My husband beats me every now and then. See, I can hardly talk to my husband for an hour without going into a fight. Just yesterday. My husband beat me up, threw me out of the house. But through the help of his elder brother, he accepted me back. Oh, 
you mean your husband sent you packing and accepted you back the same yesterday? That is to understand what I'm talking about. Hmm. That man must be a nice person. Yes. Dibia, you don't know my husband. He is a terrible man. Please. I need you to give me a charm that I'll use in controlling him. At least for there to be peace in my home. Next time, you don't call me Divya. My name is Nze. I am sorry. <gasps> Women. Women. If any man is not killed by a woman, he will live long. Yes. Woman, you have to go back home and make up your mind if you want this charm. Then if you are sure, come back tomorrow. I will give it to you. I am very sure. I want it. Please. Woman, I said go back home. You <laughs> come back tomorrow. Okay. Yes. I'll be back tomorrow morning. My dear, this journey you are about to embark on, there is no going back until you achieve peace in your family. When you get back home, Look for smaller containers and distribute this portion in every corner of your house. Under your bed, in the kitchen, under your chairs, under your pillow. Do you know why? Mm -mm. Because you don't know when the quarrel will start. And when the argument starts, quickly put some into your mouth. Do not swallow or pour it out until the argument is over. Remember, do not swallow it or pour it out. Until the argument is over, else you will die. Now take. Take. Thank you, wife. And not only that, make sure you cook with this portion for your husband to eat. And the only way for you to achieve that is by petting your husband to avoid suspicion. You will have to avoid friends and family for now. Yes. I will. This portion I gave to you is no magic, but a charm. If you follow my instruction properly, it might take months or even a year, but it will surely work out. Yes. Thank you very much. I will do anything to restore peace in my marriage. Yes. <sighs> I only collect money when the charm works. Remember, do not forget to come back with the charm when there's peace in your family. Okay. Else, it will cause a lot of damage in your home. Do you understand me? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. I'll do my room now. Remember what I told you. Do not swallow it. Do not swallow it. Sylvia! Sylvia! Who is that? It's me, oh. You. What are you doing here? You know, I've not seen you since the day that my wicked brother in law, Kennedy, tried to. How dare you? How dare you call my husband wicked? Who are you yourself? You're a Jezebel. Are you okay? Why are you defending a man that beat you mercilessly and threw you out of the house? When my mother told me you were my problem, I never believed her. Until you turned your back against me when I needed you the most. Wilfred, let me spell it out to you. You are a homebreaker. Sylvia, are you out of your mind? What has Kennedy done to you? Wilfred, leave my house. Leave my house, you fool! Just leave my house this minute. Wilfred, I said, leave my house. See, Wilfred, you're a deceiver. Leave my house. Don't allow me to push you. Get out. Home breaker. Go, 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 go. I wonder what, what you even came here to do, if not gossip. Thank you. 
without me. Where are you going? I'm going with you now. Why? <laughs> Hold on. This is the daughter father thing, so I don't really need you here, okay? Thank you. Michael, what's the meaning of that? It means you're not going with me. I don't need you. Come on, Michael, don't be ridiculous. Excuse me, I said you're not going with me. Open this door. Why don't I go with you? Because I said, I simply explained it that it's a father daughter thing. Are we not family? Open this door for me, please. Open the door. Eh, okay. Bye. Hey, Daisy, have fun. <laughs> Don't worry about the gate. I will close it, eh? Hey. Oh. Hey, Sylvia. I just thought uh, my daughter was going to keep into my shoe and my bag. You know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the father said no. I should not help them and close the gate. The shoe, I thought it would enter her house. Eh? But it's not her size. You have looked funny. I know. Let me just go back <laughs> and drop it. <laughs> All right, take care. Who no plan well, oh, say we should follow him, oh. As you make your bed, oh, now so you lie on top of If you so kata kata, you go rip jaga jaga. If you so tomato, you go chop tomato. Hey. When will I stop pretending to be happy while I die in silence? My husband doesn't understand me. He is so self-centered. Who do I confide in? Who will understand my predicaments? Hmm, I think I should talk to Kennedy about this. No. Uh -uh. Wilfred, you are wrong. You are so wrong about this decision. Kennedy holds me in high esteem. And if I ever talk to him about it, then all my pride and ego is gone. Oh, Chimo, I will continue to endure him. You are here. Sylvia, you are here. Why are you lazy and annoying? What sort of wife are you? No, tell me. What sort of wife are you? Why are you lazy and annoying at the same time? You can't wash, you can't clean, to grab it all, you can't even cook. Marrying you is the biggest mistake I made in life. I swear, marrying you is the biggest mistake I made in life. Can't you talk? I'm talking to you. Can't you talk? Can't you talk? What has come over you? Sweep, no. Watch plates, no. You can't even wash my clothes. And you call yourself, you call yourself a, 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 a housewife. Eh? Okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Up as early as 4 a.m. in the morning to make your food. Know full well that your days are Sorry, I'm running late. I can't eat. But I had to blast it. Please. Yeah, I'm going to find it. I'll it in the office. All right. Let me do it. No, 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 don't worry. I'll do it. Mm-hmm.
Hello. Can you do it? Hi, hi, it's going to Yes, I, I was wondering if you'd like to take um, fish pepper soup for dinner. Ah. Okay, yam and egg sauce. Don't you think it's too heavy for the night? Oh. Okay, I'll do just that. Alright. Come back early so that it doesn't get cold. Okay. Bye. What do you want me to do? I should come and widen your mouth open. Take the medicine, pour inside, then pour water. Would that make you happy? But, but you're my wife now. Oh, now you know I'm your wife. Mm -mm. Go and call your daughter Daisy. Let her come and assist you. You don't want it to be daughter and father time today. Make it daughter and father time. It's very good. That's what you always do. Can Help you, yourself. This is still a case. What in God's name is this? How can I be married yet never had a moment of peace in my marriage? Yes, marriage has its ups and downs, but not as worse as mine. I'm so trapped in this marriage and I can't even think of divorce because that wouldn't portray a good example to my younger brother. What do I do? Oh, ye na two more, ye see na one more. A radi rosimu codimbo. If I name me ne utemo. A ma rosimi fengeme. Anya talaku kobo tweza ni sea chai. Biko zanu mo abakuta na mazu. Without you, I am losing it all. Without you, I am losing my mind. Without you, I am losing it all. Where are you? Where are you? I'm good. How are you doing? How's your health, bro? Okay, so. Brother, I thank God <laughs> I'm better today. I can see your wife is really taking good care of you. Well, you can say that again. Mm. She's doing her best. Ken, you look so tired, so you just have to come inside, freshen up, eat. Then you can come back and have all the time with your brother. Right, Michael? Oh, my wife is right. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'll be right back. All right, all right. If I name a marazi me fengeme, and a talaku cobo to his anisia chai. Biko Zanu. Are you sick? Yeah? What sort of nonsense is this? How could you? You have the guts to enroll a few months old baby into their care without my consent. Are you serious? Who does that as a wife? Now tell me, how did you even get the money you used in registering her in that daycare? How? Because I know you have no source of income. I'm talking to you, are you deaf? Can't you talk? You enrolled our baby into their care without my consent. Why do we even need daycare? I, you, you have hands, you have legs. Why? Why daycare? Are you that lazy? And I'm talking to you, you're not talking. Can't you talk? Okay, you can't talk anymore. You can't talk anymore. All right, we'll see about that. I know what to do.
Mze has killed me. Eh? This is just too much. How can my husband call me all day long and I won't be able to express myself just because I have some portion in my mouth? This is a serious task. And I can't go back on it now. Else, I will die. Going back is not even an option. But from the way things are going, I haven't seen changes in my husband. He still scolds me like always. The only difference is that he hasn't hit me lately. Oh my God. Do I go back to Mze? Mm -mm. He warned me. I know what to do. Endurance is the answer because Mze told me it might take months or even a year. It's only three months now. So let me still exercise some patience. I don't understand. What is happening? Why the sudden change in my wife? I can't believe I was talking to Sylvia instead of her to shout back on me or even fight me. She kept quiet. <laughs> I have conscience. I can't stand and watch Sylvia groan and mourn in pain anymore. The love I have for my wife is still strong. We need peace to move on. We need love to enjoy this marriage. We need to rekindle the light of our love. Wow, the charm is working. So, there is no marriage without ups and downs. Our true love is conquered. Yes, we can be the light of our lives. I hold no grudges against you. In fact, your attitude the last time led me to finding the solution to my marital problem. So I should be the one thanking you. So you're saying that um, we can still be friends? Why mm -hmm. not? Yes, we can. Well, thank you. Oh, my phone. Sorry, one minute. Hello, baby. Yes. That's my husband. No, 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 I don't want that. Mm-hmm. Well, you know I love you more. I love you more, you know it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You okay now, right? All right, see. You. Love you too, bye. Ah, that was my husband. I know. Ah, my dear. It's okay. Take care of yourself while okay. I continue what I'm doing. Okay. All right, bye. Can you meet in the eating without joining me? Or are we enemies? No. How can we be enemies? And then eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are the god I am seeing now. So I don't have any reason not to eat in your house. Give me a water. How cozy my relationship with my husband is now. Mm. So I decided to return the remaining portion like you instructed. All right. <coughs> ah. <coughs> ah, no, 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 no. Drink from the gallon. This? Yes. You told me that if I swallowed this portion, it will kill me. That is the last thing you will do for the peace in your home to remain permanent. Okay? <coughs> Now, drink from it. of the problem in your marriage. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It was my husband. Mm. It's just that he has changed now. <laughs> <clears throat> the problem you had was your tongue and your attitude towards your husband. What I gave you is no charm. It is ordinary water. Mm? Yes. Each time you had it in your mouth, it makes you not to talk back at your husband and aggravate his anger, which brought peace and understanding in your home. My mother complained bitterly about this. But I thought I was doing the right thing. Little wonder so many homes are broken. <sighs> Nze, thank you for restoring peace in my marriage. Oh. Please manage this. Hey. Do I deserve all this for ordinary water? You deserve more than this. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Thank you very much. <laughs> My God, you're bigger than this. Uh, you're bigger than this. Calm down, please. I'm begging you. Calm down. You don't understand. 
You don't understand what I've been going through in this house. You don't understand what I've been enduring in this house. You don't understand what I've been stomaching in this house. All I'm doing is just to make sure I have a happy family. Just because I know you look up to me, I don't want you to see me like I'm having issues with my family and you will start having issues with your own too. I don't want to set bad example. You see, you know that divorce is not in our family. It's not in our lineage. And I don't want to be the first person to start it. I would have, I would have started this way. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Hi, you said it all. Divorce is not in our lineage. Please. This woman is full of trouble. Ken, every day there is one problem or the other. Michael, no one is close to perfection. Okay? With tolerance and patience, you can iron it out. Please calm down, I'm begging you. Please. Okay? Hi. Thank you. It's okay. his shortcomings. You do have yours too. Listen, let me tell you. There are faults we find in people that are also in us. You're not Michael's sister. You didn't grow the same place with him. So you should know that you people are not meant to understand everything about yourselves. Please. Since you don't understand. You will not work with Michael. You will not work. You will not work with Michael. Eh? It's okay. Oh. We're afraid just Try this out and thank me later. Just give it a try, eh? It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, ye na two more. This is now one more. I read the rosy mukodimbo. If I name me, ne wute mo. Am I rising me finger me? And ya tell a cook or go to his and ye see a chai. Because Zanu go a bakutan Without you, I am losing it all. Without you, I am losing my mind. Without you, I am losing it all. Any luck? I'm fine. The world is my strength. Stop crying. We love you. I'll make sure not to hurt you soon. Thank you very much. God be blessed to both of you for me. Amen. I'm sorry, yo. Thank you. You're fine. God, I have carried this burden for such a long time, and it's beginning to haunt me. I lied against Rose, and everyone stood by me, and she left out of heartbreak. Today, nobody knows. 
her whereabouts. Who knows where she could be? This issue is really giving me sleepless nights. And I can't conceal it anymore. Should I talk to my husband about this? Kennedy loves Rose so much that if he finds out about this, he might throw me out of the house. I have achieved peace and love in this family. Or it can't be complete without Rose's forgiveness. What do I do now? I know what to do. So that was exactly what happened. Hey. Women. Women. Huh? But when last did you see her? I said it's over two years now. Nobody has heard from her or even seen her. Hi. Hey. You have to apologize to her. I don't even know where to find her. Then confess to her family who stood by you against her. Ah. No. Oh. I can't do that. My husband will send me back to my father's house. See, Nze, she don't know how much they love their sister. She's their only sister. Hmm. Then let her family know the truth. Only the truth will set you free. Scaring us. What, what is it? Where is the same as it? My husband. Uh -huh. My husband. I am the because of everything that happened in this family. Huh? I became jealous seeing Rose run errands for Kennedy and the Sylvia. Winifred, I have always known you have attitude problem, but I never knew you were this mean. Are you that heartless? Anything that you want to do to me, please, my husband. Beat me. Beat me, please. Don't you touch me! Please beat me. I'm begging you to beat me. Oh, beat me. Beat me, my husband. Beat me, please. Beat me, please. Please beat me, my husband. I'm begging you. Beat me, please. Beat me, oh. I'm sorry. 
ללכת. הלו. לואיש. I was very foolish. I was very stupid. Because of my actions, I lost everything. My education, I almost lost my life. I brought so much shame and disgrace to this family. Please forgive me. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And to Sylvia, please, I'm very sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. But I can. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. What do you mean, Fred? I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Rose, if there's anyone to apologize, it's me. I am the cause of everything. I am really, really sorry. Please. It's out of jealousy that I did everything that I did. My husband. My husband. If there's anybody to be given any kind of punishment, it's me. Let all the punishments be hit on me, please. No, 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 nobody is to be punished here, okay? We are one happy family, and so shall we. Please, let's go to my house and sit down and discuss. Okay. 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 Okay.